Hello, I'm Bennett, and I'm going to teach you how to make a spear. This is the back end, or the front end, depending on which way you put the spike on. And this, I'd make this the back end, since it's bigger. I'm just use it to bash skulls in. But basically, all you'll need is a dowel rod, um, or a stick you can just chop down. The straighter, the better. Uh, this isn't too straight, because... I already have another spear, and this is just for a tutorial. Um, you'll need a metal pipe that can fit around the end of the spear that you want to be the tip. And what else will you need? You'll need a vise, and probably a knife. Um, in case you're going, you'll need a knife in order to chop off excess wood and in order to make the spear tip fit. Okay, now first, just take your branch, stick, dowel rod, whatever, and then grab your pole, stick it on the tip, um, to make sure it fits. If it's, if your dowel rod, stick, branch, pole, whatever, if it's too, um, thick, um, don't worry about that. Just take a knife, if you don't need this step, then skip ahead, I'll put the where you need to skip to in the video. You basically just cut off the little parts of the branch that you need to get away so you can fit the dowel rod on. Or not the dowel. Once you got the pipe on, it needs to be on about two or three inches. Just take it in the vise and watch out for the ceiling for the back of your spear. And grab the end of it on the stick and just squeeze it until it's tightly snug on there. Once you've done that, just estimate on how far out you want the tip of your spear to be. Once you got how once you know how far out you want the tip of your spear, I'm gonna make mine about three inches. Just clamp it right there. Come on. And then just squeeze it until it's like super thin, and then you'll be able to wiggle it back and forth until it breaks. Well, this pole right here, I used it to put on the handle for extra leverage. And now it's a spear tip. So be forewarned, it is hard. It'll get harder. It'll get harder as you go. Almost got it. I got that done. Oh, dang it, my branch is breaking. Not in there as snug as I want it to be. But, anyways, just, just grab the metal on the back end. And you should be able to bend it just a few times and it'll break, but this thing is really fighting me. There we go. It's ripping. There. Okay. There we go. And then you can, once you got that done, just take it out of the vise. Gosh. Okay. That's a little extra leverage right here. This place is so crowded. There's no there we go. 
I got a tiny little space to work in, so let's try not to hit everything. Well, that's the tip of our spear right now. Just flat and really stupid looking. If you like it like this, by all means, leave it. But keep watching, and you'll be able to make it like pretty sharp and not really sharp, but you'll be able to make it a heck of a lot cooler. Just flatten the side and break it off and Yeah, I, normally I would be using the stick as leverage, but right now it can break any minute. So yeah, I don't plan this spirit to be doing any yep, there we go. Just take that out of there now. I'll probably use this tip on my other spear. Oh gosh, this thing just doesn't want to break. Oh, well, this thing's hot. The tip of this one's hot because all the friction. I'll break it someday and then I'll show you. Finally broke it. Thing is burning up, so watch out. It, all the friction of it rubbing against the, rubbing against the metal vice will like make it heat up. So now once you do that, clamp it and make yourself a V-shape and do it again. If you're in a place that is full of flammable materials and stuff like that, you probably want to wait for it to cool down. So, um, but other than that, just keep breaking it until you get a good point on it. My other one I squared off because I was still trying to figure out how to do the spear and this one is going to be really nice. I might put this tip on my other one. I got the V, or I got half the V and I just need to break it and put the other half in there. So far I've broken off this much. and. Now I just need to break off the other corner. So basically, you just stick it back in the vise and right where you want it. It will slide around, so hold it still. <clears throat> and so you gotta all the way tighten it. <clears throat> I'm getting weak. I haven't eaten <laughs> dinner yet. Well, just. Do what you've been doing. I add just a little extra pole into the back end for more leverage. It'll help a heck of a lot more. Unless you got a really strong stick, um, this will work a lot better. There we go. And that's my spearhead. Yeah, it's opened a little on top, but I'll squeeze that together. And Tighten it. But once you're done with that, it should already be on the tip of the spear. And since mine broke off, oh well. But if it isn't, if you have, you can actually put it on the spear after you make the tip. I don't know how easy it'll be, but just slide it on there and squeeze it like I showed you earlier, and it should be all right. Oh. And that's my spear. There we go. Got all of it. That's my head. Well, oh, hope you enjoyed. You can wrap the handle in duct tape or paint it or whatever. Um, the straighter it is, the better it'll fly if you plan on throwing it. But, um, just try and find the center of balance and everything. And there we go. Got the spearhead and find a way to put that on later. But yeah, um, 